No, there's nothing like a handyman about the house, is there? Oh, is there? Well, well, Sippy would be a handier man if he could keep track of his screwdriver. He thinks it's in his tool chest. So he brought the tool chest up into the living room, which is no place for a tool chest. And here, emptying things out of the tool chest, we find Sippy McGee and Molly. For goodness sakes, McGee, what have you got there? A tool chest. You heard what the man said. <laughs> well, did you bring that up out of the basement just to look for a screwdriver? Yep, the screwdriver was there in the light side of the Why don't you fix it? You can't find my screwdriver. Well, use the blade of your jack knife. I think the point's busted off. How'd you do that? You use it as a screwdriver. Let's see. Nice little socket. Auto tool. You're burning up it. What's that book there under the broken alarm clock? It's a poster hit on home handicraft by Henry Horace Beckerhart. Great stuff, too. Is that where you got the information about how to fix my sewing machine? Yeah, how do you work now? Well, fine. Except that the bobbin keeps coming loose and shoots across the room. Oh. I nearly got Mrs. Uppington the other day. <laughs> she was sitting down at the time, too. <laughs> very sporting of me. Yeah. <laughs> Umbrella handle. Bear trap. Let that bear trap lay there, Molly. My pet's really through in it. <laughs> oh, hey. There's that old trap man I was going to fix that trigger spring on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come to think of it, I did fix that trigger spring on. <laughs> Now, isn't that nice? Now you can fix that hole in the ceiling, too. Mm -hmm. Now, make it a little bigger and install a brass pole, and then we'd have a nice guest room for visiting fires. <laughs> you wouldn't be getting fire tested, would you? No. And incidentally, what do you want the screwdriver for? Well, I'm going to fix something, Molly. I don't want to tell you. I want to surprise you. Who's that? Uh-oh. It's Mrs. Eppington. The front bumper of the station wagon set. <laughs> Society and wouldn't you love to crown? <laughs> Come in. Oh, how do you do, Mrs. Uppington? Oh, how do you do, Mrs. McGee? And Mrs. McGee? Hi, Uppington. I, uh, I just think you're a good thing. That's how I said something. Well, uh, you stepped into an old camera, Mrs. Uppington. But don't feel badly about it. We never used it anyway. Oh, I was going to fix that camera when I got time. What was the matter with it? Well, when you looked into that brown glass plate, everything was upside down. Oh. I got the dog right of car that's standing on my head to take pictures. Oh, really? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, he rather enjoyed it, Mrs. Uppington. He was always a bit of a pixie with a brownie. <laughs> I insist on missing the lost good. Oh, oh, oh. Why? It was no good and it's no loss. Why, Molly? How can you be so mean to Mrs. Uppington? You want her, you want her to have this thing on her conscientious? You want her to go through life with the good feeling that she's broke up a man's hobby with them big clumsy feet of don't worry about paying for the camera, Mrs. Uppington. Oh, I didn't consult Mr. McGee by offering him money. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just that I feel so badly about interfering with your last piece of pursuit. Oh, yes, sir. Well, I consult you over a little box of dress of color, but I have had only three pounds of the of dress. And well, I would not be here now. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Are you hurt, Mrs. Uppington? Oh, fuck, should she be? Yeah, <laughs> 
Well, how? Well, take a screwdriver. Oh, my God. No screwdriver. Anyway, I can do it. Oh, that a relief. Well, how on earth did you get it open? Oh, it's a little lot. You can come and say. I said to myself, now keep cool, McGee. Sure, I said. Now, what kind of a trap is this? Well, says I, it's a bear trap. Yes. Of course, I says. So what's the logical way to open the bear trap? What? Yes, I says. With your bare hands. Oh. Bear oh. Bear. Well, I'm glad it wasn't a mouse trap. You'd have had to give yourself a mickey. <laughs> now hurry up and get that junk off of my floor. Well, Molly, I haven't found a screwdriver yet. I don't want to. Oh, for goodness sake, run down to the hardware store and buy a screwdriver. I haven't got time to. Oh, Billy! Hello, Billy! Gone in the auto show! Oh, I don't think so. Not this year, Mr. Old Timer. Hurry up, Billy! Well, I'll tell you, Old Timer, they took all the fun out of it. You used to go to auto shows so you could stand on the running boards and watch the salesman show you how easy the clutch and the gear shift were. And now, no gear shift, no clutches, no running boards. All we've got left is the salesman. <laughs> well, it's pretty good, Johnny. You're surprisingly exaggerated. But that ain't the way I hit it. The way I hit it, one fellow says to tell a fellow, Get one with a black handle. Uh, yes, madam. A screwdriver with a black handle. Uh, what size? What do you mean, what size? You gotta be third for them? <laughs> well, we have itty bitty baby ones for taking watches apart, and mama sized ones for stabbing beer cans open, <laughs> and great big proper ones for real rough work. <laughs> I'm a medium-sized guy looking for a medium-sized screwdriver for a medium-sized job. Oh, just fit me, please. Am I in the wheelbarrow? Oh, 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 leave me past it, Molly. I don't want to look. Why not? It's only a common wheelbarrow. Oh, you know, Molly. My cousin Kimber. What? You remember what happened to him when he was working on Boulder Dam? No, I don't. Well, they found somebody that tampered with the concrete mixture. Don't tell me they suspected your cousin. Yes. The minute they seen his feet sticking out of the dam, they knew he was mixed up in it. <laughs> that must have been the foreman. The poor lad told us he was getting in solid with the boss. <laughs> you can open your eyes now, dear. You will pass the wheelbarrow. Okay, bud, where's the screwdriver? And make it snappy because I want to hurry. Hey, hardware man, come over to my house right away. What's the matter, Mr. Flanagan? Every time I try to fill in my toy boat in the sink, it overflows. Well, why don't you use the bathtub? What? And get the coal all wet? Hurry, will you? Screw driver. Well, that's it. Hey, get a little old guy coming in with a beard and the bifocals, Molly. He looks kind of familiar to me. Well, he acts kind of familiar, too. He's just winked at me. Oh, no, he looks kind of familiar to me. Well, he acts kind of familiar, too. He just winked at me. This old thing. Oh. Oh, he did, eh? Hey, look here, you with the jaw glass. Who do you think you're winking to? Take it easy, brother. Heavenly day, Harlow Wilcox. What you doing in a false block, eh, Harlow? Hey, Harlow, are you? I'm making a survey. Oh, uh, Mr. Hardware Man. Oh, uh, my granddaughter sent me in for some floor wax. That's the best kind. Uh, well, we only just 
them bouncing. Uh, finest polish you can buy for floors, furniture, and woodwork. You don't say. Oh, yes, you do. It's a beautiful, lasting polish and protects all wood surfaces from scratches and stains. Uh, wait a minute, now I'll get with you. Oh, that's quite a disguise, Mr. Wilcox. Gee, thanks, Molly. I modeled it after Mr. Chip, you know, in the movie. Is it okay, Sid? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like a well-dunked donut. <laughs> that's the worst disguise I ever offer. Don't lose wax. Not only the best protection for your floors and woodwork, but it will add a great deal of beauty to your home. Thanks, Johnny. I'll tell my granddaughter what you said about Johnson's wax. And I'll be back after a bit. Certainly. Any time, Mr. Wilcox. What? <laughs> you told me this wax. Do you remember? Oh, gee whiz. I never saw that. <laughs> Was for something for you, sir? A screwdriver. Remember me, bud? The fellow that wanted to buy a screwdriver with a black handle? Oh, yes, yes. Now, here's a wonderful screwdriver. Clothing shaft, that big grip, non skid tip, and transparent handle. He wants one with a black handle. But, madam, the transparent handles don't come in black. Yes, that is, but who wants a transparent handle? All I want is a simple black handle. Hello there, Skipper. You got a good, strong, comfortable blue? Why, yes, we have, madam. There's one from the five cents special today. I'll take it. Where shall I have the green cent, madam? Don't send it, Snipples. I'm buying it for Halloween and I'm riding it home. <laughs> Let's start, everybody. Here I go. Get out, sweet sister. Woo-hoo! <laughs> I, I beg your pardon, sir. Have you been waited on? Screwdriver. Where do you put that screwdriver? 
There's a lot of bubble gum to have a blowout. I must remember to have a broken knife. Boy Scout knife? What am I carrying that for? I wouldn't knife a boy scout. <laughs> the bubble of a chocolate cigar. The ice was played off a hot twice ago. <laughs> and it takes me to a couple Stop this big 
send the both of you. He's just looking for a screwdriver, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, I'll help him look for it. What does it look like, McGee? Oh, it's about this long with a black handle and it's got TPG carved on the handle. TPG, eh? Uh, you know what that stands for? Well, I always thought it would take a powerful grip. It Maybe. stands for Fort Morton P. Gildersleeve. That's what it stands for. That's my screwdriver! Now, look, boys, there's no use fighting anymore. I just remembered where I saw that screwdriver. What? You did? Where? On the shelf in the hall closet. But be careful. I'll get it, Mrs. McGee. You stay where you darn are, Gilman. I'll get it. After all, this is my house. After all, it's my screwdriver. Okay, okay, okay. You can have your old screwdriver. I'll go get it. I'll go with you. I don't trust you out of my sight. You're so short sighted, I can still get away with plenty. What did you say, Molly, on the shelf in this closet? Yes, but be careful, dearie, because that shelf is loose in the chair. Yeah, I know. I'll get out of my way, Gildersleeve, while I get that. Hey. Thank 